Happy New Year's, everyone. I apologize. I've been a combination of uh, working plus the holidays. And then on top of that, I've been ready to get sick as a dog these last couple of days. Um, I hope everyone survived that terrible bomb cyclone or whatever they call it. Um, it was pretty, pretty, pretty miserable. Um, whenever we get bad weather in my neck of the woods, especially when it's the first big rain, or it's the first big cold front. Um, at the volunteer, or at the homeless shelter, we collect a bunch of volunteers to try to go out and go to the various places that people like to illegally camp and um, warn them about the weather, give them warm weather clothing and stuff, and then advise them on where they can go to seek shelter. Uh, we have a big river that goes through our city, and um, one of the big problems is people will naturally want to keep um, illegally camp at the river bends where it's pretty flat except for some rocks you can just move the rocks and there's a lot of driftwood um, that's absolutely the worst place to camp though because it doesn't even have to rain in our city for a, it just have to be raining towards the mountaintops and stuff and that could cause you to get washed away and you'll be lost and nobody will ever see you and they won't find your body for like two weeks so um, uh, right when this storm was about to hit um, I got a call from one of the coordinators asking me to go out there, and uh, I went out there actually with a cop, which was interesting because I never met the guy before, um, and the reason they sent me out with this cop was we were missing a guy um, who left the location that he is supposed to reside in because of his criminal history, um, and I have dealt with this guy before. I pretty much know how he thinks. I could find him real quickly. So we ended up uh, going exactly where I thought it would be, and that's where it was. And, uh, and of course, there were these two young, college-age-looking girls. Um, I call these folks crusties. They're hipsters that, um, for whatever reason, are deciding to try to piss off mommy and daddy by taking a semester off and doing some poverty tourism here up in Appalachia. So they can gawk and point at the poor people. And then also use all of our social services up here. I, I don't get it. I, I, I'm assuming that these folks just watch like a vice documentary on train riding. And then they decide to ride the rails. And then as soon as they get up to our city, they decide, okay, riding rails suck. I'll just stick around in this town and beg for money nonstop, even though I'm worth shitloads of money. So me and the cops show up and the cop separates, uh, the problematic individual right away from the two girls and uh, the two girls one looks like she was like a deer in headlights she I, I could tell she didn't want to be out there anymore because um, it was getting to the low 40s and neither one of these ladies were in any way shape or form uh, appropriately dressed for harsh weather like I, I i don't know how they were like handling the cold even in the 40s and we were expecting to get down to negative 20 that night so uh, and the other girl just had a really shitty attitude and she was just like, so what are you just going to arrest us for vagrancy? And I said, do I look like a cop? I'm clearly not a cop. She goes, no, you look like a freak. I'm like, okay, uh-huh. That's very woke of you. I was like, um, ladies, um, it's going to get very, very cold tonight. We're looking at minus 20 degrees. Um, you don't have the proper gear. Uh, I highly recommend you seek uh, shelter in a hotel tonight. Um, she's like, oh, you guys don't have like home, um, like a homeless shelters for us? I said, well, we're not going to keep you in the homeless shelter um, primarily because it's not necessarily safe to house men and women together. Um, but you guys can obviously afford a hotel room. She goes, what do you mean by that? I was like, well, you both have cell smartphones on you. Like, and I could tell they had smartphones on them kind of thing. And it wasn't just that. It's like. Like the one woman that was giving me like the shitty attitude, I could tell that she had a full chest piece. Like we're talking about like a couple of thousand dollars worth of tattoo work just on her chest. And the fact that I could make out that she had tattoos on her chest kind of establishes just how poorly dressed these women were for this weather. And they're wearing like designer jeans and stuff. It's like, and they're smoking like the fucking independent cigarettes. And Around this part of the conversation, it started getting heated between the cop and the actual homeless guy. 
And so she's like, the, the smart ass woman was like, oh, so you're just going to arrest him for being homeless. I was like, no, he's getting arrested for being a violation of his probation. He's a violent sex offender that you've been hanging out with. And if you want, one of you can pull out your cell phones and I'll give you his full name. You guys have basically been hanging out with Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> like, I, it's a correction. He doesn't, he doesn't actually eat people. But, I mean, this is a guy that went to – I think he was originally sentenced in the 70s for, like, five years. And it took him 40 years to get out. Like, this is not a good guy. This is a guy – I'm like, he's a very dangerous individual. This is why he is not allowed to leave the hotel that we put him up in. Um, you're hanging out with a, 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 a very violent sex offender. And, of course, that girl got a little, still was getting shady with me. And the other girl was like, I just want to go home. I was like, I'll tell you what. I'll drive you guys to wherever you want to go. But you really cannot stay out here tonight. You won't survive. So they both agree. Well, they go to, like, or, or no, no, they, they I'm, I'm saying this wrong. I apologize. I'm very sick. Um. They both agree to leave. That's what they agreed to. And as they decide to go and leave, I'm like, hey, where are you guys going? And they both turn around and look at me like I'm stupid. I'm like, you guys have completely defaced and destroyed this, this riverbed here with all this trash and everything. You've been flicking cigarettes on the ground nonstop as I've been talking to you. Neither one of you are leaving until you help me clean up this riverbed. And before the girl could say anything, the cop finally came back from half, like, because he had to take the um, the sex offender into the back of the car, you know, a little bit of ways. He comes walking up and he goes, hey, Smith, are these two leaving? I said, no. He goes, good. Neither one of you are leaving. Otherwise, I will cite you for, for, for all this garbage you're leaving. So the cop stayed there with them. I went up to my car. We got trash. I got trash bags and gloves and stuff. And so we pretty much spent like two hours. Because, I mean, they, they must have been camping out here for a couple of days. But, I mean, there was just so much shit. So we get all the trash in the back of my pickup truck. And then I was like, look, if you two squeeze in, because I only have a three, I only have a two-door. I was like, if you two squeeze in, I'll drive you to wherever you want to go. But we need to find you a hotel. What hotel do they have me drive to? The fanciest, like a fucking Marriott. And I'm just saying, yeah, you're, you're, you guys are poor. <laughs> uh, these tourists. But anyway, I ended up, um, after that was taken care of, I ended up going out a couple more times. Because you can't just go out once and hope every, you got everybody. And, of course, going out again and again and again in the cold. Eventually, I picked up a lung infection, which I'm pretty susceptible to. And I am sick as a dog. Which is unfortunate because... Uh, I really wanted to like take my wife out for uh, dinner, and, like dancing for the New Year's. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, it's funny when I was a raging alcoholic, I used to hate St. Patty's Day and New Year's because I would forget that they're coming up, and then like the bars that I would hang out with were just filled with people, which I wasn't used to like drinking around anyone. I didn't like it. And now, ten years sober, I actually enjoy going out for New Year's with my wife. But we'll probably just stay in and let the boy stay up till midnight. But I'm kind of in isolation because I don't want to get them sick. But, oh, man, that, that, uh, that, that cold weather was crazy. Um, I hope everyone did all right. <coughs> but anyway, this is just a quickie update. Um, sorry I haven't made any videos anytime soon. I, I've just been, you know, I, I pretty much got sick the second day of this cyclobomb or whatever, and I just keep getting sicker and sicker.